Welcome back to the Open Hardware Miniconf. Now in this day of COVID, we can't really travel, so unfortunately we can't go and visit our friends in other maker spaces. But we have Robin here today who is going to take us for a little tour of the Adelaide maker space. So Robin, please show us what you've got. Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce you to the new maker space in Adelaide. It grew out of a need for a community space for makers, hackers, creators, inventors, and like-minded people. So I'm going to get up and start walking through the space. Move my chair out the way. And we're walking into the textiles area. Our camera does a little wobble while we go. And then I'm going to pan around the room and show you what we have. We have sewing machines, over lockers, leatherwork gear, cosplay outfits, some weaving, and lots of storage for parts. Moving on, you get to see our foyer. It disappeared midstream. So coming into the maker space, there's lots of demos of work people have done and highlights some of the things you can do at the maker space. It's reconnected. Okay, if I can show the slide, please. Hi, Robin. It's uh, Chris the Tech here. You'll need to reshare your screen to get the slide back up. Sorry about that. Yep. There's my slide. So Adelaide Makerspace has technology, laser cutting, 3D printing, electronics and robotics, multimedia, crafting and textiles. We have sewing, crochet, crafting, leather work and cosplay. We have a workshop out the back which has woodworking, metalworking, welding, CNC and painting and finishing. Our um, sustainability area, we have circular economy, recycling, upcycling, waste reduction and climate impact. And back to our stream of walking around. We're walking into digital fabrication area. And in digital fabrication, we have laser cutters and 3D printers. Our initial funding came from a Green Industry South Australia grant and they became our founding partner. Our inaugural partners were 3D Printer Gear, Carbotech for the woodworking equipment, Superloop for our internet and Trotec for our laser cutter workshops and support. Walking through to electronics, I might get Luke to open the door for me. We have an electronics area. It 
in electronics, we have the usual equipment, power supply, signal generator, oscilloscope, and some soldering equipment. We're making up some kits for um, kids to do during the school holidays. And we have our obligatory storage of parts. My trolley's getting stuck. We have a classroom where the Adelaide people are sitting, waiting for me to come walking through. Classroom will be used for school groups and for as a meeting place for local groups, hacker space meet here. And so walking through, everyone can wave. It's, co it's coming into focus now. You can all wave. And at the moment we have a COVID um, rating of 24 for this room, but it can hold more than that. And we'll be making some of our 3D printers available for the room, as well as computers and electronics courses. And heading out to the workshop, We have CNC and drill presses and band saws, a Dremel finishing area, and we started doing some 3D printing smoothing. So a heating bed and smoothing chamber. Carbotech supplied some of the woodwork equipment here, and we have the woodworking area there. And we have a metalwork area at the back with welding equipment. And a nice metalwork lathe there as well. storage area for supplies and tools and workbenches for people to work at.
Sometimes we have people bring in their projects when they've had problems and if we have the volunteers available, then people are able to help. And there's the obligatory chemical storage, bathrooms, the like, heading through to the kitchen. We had a boardroom but found it wasn't being used that much. So we're starting to make it into a chill out room. And our multimedia room is in the making. At the moment, Hackerspace are moving in, so we have their, their storage, but we have the beginnings of our multimedia room, green screen, etc. The doors along the hallway are storage rooms and supply room, commonly called the room of requirement, and back to the foyer. So if anyone has any questions, otherwise I'll head back to John. Thank you very much. That's an amazing tour. Thank you, Robin. Uh, I think I echo the sentiments of everybody in the chat when I say that is the coolest and probably the best organized hacker space I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, although Katie did make a comment saying the camera angle is low so you can't see the mess on the desks. <laughs> oh, right. I got uh, my camera uh, angle right. Oh, it, <laughs> it's very impressive. Um, so Alistair asked a couple of questions. Yes. He asked whether Trotec donated the laser cutter. That is the original Fab Lab laser cutter, and yes, it was a donation from Trotec. Great. And uh, for the space that you've got, are you renting that commercially, or is there some kind of discounted space available? This is a commercial rental. Um, the original grant for the rent came from Green Industry South Australia, and so we promote uh, the circular economy in South Australia, and... Um, Recycling, refurbishing, reusing of all products. Oh, excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that tour, Robin. It's uh, I, someone in the, the chat also commented, I think the membership of Adelaide Makerspace is going to double after this tour. So you'll probably have many people wanting to come along and see it in person. Uh, we sure hope possible. so. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you very much. And... Um, to everybody else on the uh, the miniconf, we're going to have a brief break and change over for the last session. So um, hang in there. If we're getting towards the end of the day, one more talk to go. Thank you. Thank thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>